fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. <laughs> Phantom figure of the plains takes us back through the years in fancy to the wild and untamed west of old. We thrill to another of his exciting adventures. Here he comes astride the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver! That's it, old fellow! There's a dangerous trail ahead, but we must hurry! Hi, old Silver! In the history of the Southwest during the time of the Lone Ranger, there are records of few outlaws as cruel as the Apache Kid. He was raised by white people after the murder of his father. As a result, he had the education of an average white man, though himself a full-blooded Indian. His career of crime began with the killing of the man who had caused his father's death. From that point on, his crimes were countless. More than a score of lawmen sent to capture him were murdered by his blazing guns. He was shrewd, completely savage, and absolutely without fear of the law. I showed you. And no lawns in order to get me. Me, Apache kid. At the time our story opens, we see the Lone Ranger and his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, in a small camp near a spring. They are kneeling beside the unconscious figure of a badly wounded man. The masked man speaks. There's little hope for him, Tonto. Not right. Wound plenty bad. If he'd only regain consciousness long enough to tell us who shot him. Mm, and tell us who he is. Him lawman. I know that, Kimosabe. The bullet that struck him went right through his deputy sheriff's badge. We here long time now. Him not open eyes. Two days, Tonto. Not right. He's been unconscious all the time. I don't understand. What that? The clothes this man is wearing cost a lot of money. A lot more than the deputy sheriff can afford. Not right. And he's old. A man his age wearing clothes of this sort and wearing the badge of a deputy sheriff called for some explanation. Oh. Listen to him. Isn't there something we can do? Tonto do all Indian know. I... I miss... Tonto, he's speaking. Uh. I... I missed... my... my chance. Take it easy, friend. We're doing the best we can to help you. You... you're a... Friend? Yes. Who shot you and left you here like this? I... I'm Tom Reynolds. Do you know the name? Tom Reynolds? You go. Go see 
Sheriff. Sheriff Burns. Sheriff Burns of Callaway County? Right. He, he'll know. He'll know. Just tell him Tom Reynolds missed his chance. Tell me who shot you. The, the kid. The Apache kid. I missed my chance. Tonto, wait. Gone? Not right. Now we take him home, huh? Not just yet. I'm going to call on the sheriff. I want to find out about Tom Reynolds. Here, Silver. <laughs> Wait for me, Kimosabe. Yep. <laughs> While I'm gone, I'm also going to find out about the Apache kid. Come on, Silver. At the county seat, Sheriff Burns had been worried by the absence of his deputy, Tom Reynolds. We see the sheriff in his office speaking about the matter to another deputy. And you still ain't found no track of Reynolds, huh, Sam? Nary a sign of him, Sheriff Burns. It beats me how he could just drop clear out of sight like he's done. He was getting too old to be a deputy. But Dad ratted, what's a man in my position to do with a critter like old Tom? Too bad you ain't more deputies like me. You. Huh. I don't say... Study, what time? You two. What for the last? last? Two guns. A gun to cover each of you. All right, stranger. Seeing as you aim to stick your neck in a noose by busting in here masked and throwing guns on us, have your say. But consider yourself under arrest. I'm here, Sheriff Burns, for information. Well? Did you have a deputy named Tom Reynolds? Yeah. What do you know about him? You say, did I have a deputy? I still got one named Tom Reynolds. He's out... Tom some... Reynolds met the Apache Kid. What? The Apache Kid? That dirty polecat. Need I tell you any more? Answer me just one question. Is the Apache Kid alive? As far as I know, he is. Uh, that means that old Tom ain't. He lived for several days after the Apache Kid shot him. Where's he at now? Twenty miles from here, in an arroyo. My friend and I stayed with him, but there wasn't a chance for him to pull through. One more mark again, the kid. Sheriff, if ever I get the chance to line my gun sights on that redskin, I swear he won't be standing no trial by law. Stranger who are you, anyhow? That's unimportant. The important thing, Sheriff, is to get the Apache kid. That's what poor old Tom give up his life doing. Poor? You mean... Oh, he had a plenty of cash. In fact, he was about the richest man that lived in these parts. But he was still a deputy, despite his age. Yeah. You see, five years ago, the Apache kid got old Tom's son. He did? Yeah. Then Tom vowed that he'd get the kid and fetch him in alive to stand trial. He didn't want to shoot him. He wanted him alive so as he could let him know that the shooting of Dave Reynolds was what led to his downfall. Gosh, I'll never forget old Tom vowing over his boy's dead body that he'd get the kid or... Or die a trying. Yeah, and the Apache kid never knowed it was Dave Reynolds that he drilled at the Mesa that time. That's the main thing old Tom hoped for. I'll never forget how he'd practiced the things he wanted to tell the Apache kid when, when he finally brought him in. I can see him now, standing right there in that corner, Sheriff. Remember? Yep. Telling us how he aimed to say, when you shot my boy, you started me on your trail. And it's that lad's murder that'll put the noose around your neck. Poor old Tom. Did the Apache kid know Tom Reynolds was wealthy? Can't say what he knowed. Did he know Tom Reynolds was out to avenge his son? Don't know that. The kid just kills for the sake of killing. If he seen a lawman's badge, he'd shoot and let it go at that. Did Tom Reynolds have any family? Nope, he just lived alone. Big house down the road a piece. All kinds of cash, too. But doggone who the Sam Hill are you to come in here and get us to talk like this? Sam, you forget he's holding guns on us. Well, doggone? You're under arrest. Very well, Burns. If you want to put me under arrest, you can do so. But first, you're going to listen to my plan. I am, huh? Have you any means of getting the Apache kid? Well, we're all us on the lookout for him. Mister, it ain't often a man wins my confidence. But there's something about in you... In spite of the mask? Yes, Dad read it in spite of the mask. Then listen to my plan. We'll talk. In the first place, Tom Reynolds is not dead. What? You said that... Dave. Only four men know the truth. The Apache kid left him alive. Yeah, Tonto. Tonto? Who's he? An Indian friend of mine. 
Tato and I know the truth, and now you two men. But no one else will know. Well, I don't say it. You will. Listen to what I'm going to suggest. The Lone Ranger explained his plan while Sheriff Burns and his deputy listened. Then when he'd finished, the masked man mounted Silver and returned to the place where he'd left Tonto. Tonto! Oh, oh, oh there, Silver! Oh, boy! Oh. Uh, you come back plenty fast. There's a lot to be done, Tonto. You see, Sheriff? Yes. I learned a lot about Tom Reynolds and the Apache Kid. Me look round here. Yes? Fine trail. A trail? Apache Kid trail. But it's days old now. You think you can follow it? Maybe. Tonto, try. You can, Tonto. It'll make my plan a lot easier. Tonto, try. Follow trail. We've got to find the Apache Kid. Tom Reynolds was the richest man in the county. Uh, when the Apache Kid left him, he was alive. The Kid wouldn't know he's dead unless he stayed close to us. Him not close. Me follow trail a long way. Then come back here. Wait. For you. I found out where Tom Reynolds lived, Tonto, and discussed a plan with Sheriff Burns. He's willing to try that plan. Not good. I, I'm going to take the badge off the deputy. Bullet hole in badge? Yes, but I can use it just the same. What you want Tonto do? First of all, follow that trail and find the Apache kid. Then fetch kid in? No, he won't come in alive, Tonto. Uh, He's got to come in of his own accord, or... What you say? Or send for me. Uh... I'm going to take the place of Tom Reynolds. I'm going to live in town, in his house, and wear his clothes. And make myself look as much like him as possible. I'm going to offer a big reward in his name. Ooh, pay reward. No one, Kimosabe. Because we are the ones who will get the Apache kid, and we don't accept rewards. Now, the first thing is for you to follow the trail. Locate the Apache kid. And after you found him, tell him this. Hey, Sam, I want to speak to you. Well, what's rankling in your mind? What's come over Tom Reynolds since he got back? What makes you think anything has? Can't get to see him. Can't talk to him or nothing. He was shot by the Apache kid. No, he don't say. Yep. And lived? His house is occupied, ain't it? Ain't you heard of the reward he's offering? Reward? $10,000 for the Apache kid. $10,000? Wow. What's that? Reynolds was shot by the Apache and, kid. And lived? He's offering 10000 reward for his capture. $10,000? 10000 Yes, sir. Sheriff, is is that true? Uh, 10000 for the Apache kid? Well, there's a notice of it. Hey, Sheriff, I got a hammer. I'll nail the notice on the wall. $10,000. $10,000. Tom Reynolds offers $10,000. The Apache kid shot Reynolds. Reynolds is alive. Offers $10,000. Sheriff Burns and his deputy had followed their instructions, and soon everyone in town was talking excitedly of the reward. While the news was being spread, the lone ranger, disguised as Tom Reynolds, stood beside his great horse Silver in the stables behind the large Reynolds home. I think Tom Reynolds is alive, Silver, old boy. I hope we can carry out the plan, keep him alive, at least in spirit, till we keep his pledge for him. <laughs> It all depends on Tonto. If he can trail the Apache kid to his camp and carry out his part of the plan, there may be a chance. I wonder if Tonto will be able to follow that trail. If he's successful, I wonder if the Apache kid will shoot or give Tonto a chance to talk. And I hope the Apache kid invites him to sit by his campfire and talk over a plan to pick up some quick and easy money. <laughs> The curtain falls on the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Now to continue our story. You will recall that in the first act of tonight's Lone Ranger drama, the masked man and Tonto found Tom Reynolds dying from bullet wounds. The Lone Ranger reported Reynolds' death to the sheriff and outlined a plan to bring the Apache kid to justice. Our next scene opens in the outlaw's camp. 
It is in a fourth clearing some distance north of town. With the Apache kid is his wife, an Indian woman who both hates and fears her husband. You try escape again. No, no. Me Apache kid. What I got, I keep. You wife, Apache kid. Me not escape. Me stay with you. Uh, that's right. Apache kid put rope on you and leave you for time. You savvy? Rope hurt. Rope not hurt me. You not like me, huh? I not try to escape. You Apache kid. You heap strong. You not let wife escape. Me not try. Apache kid a rope wife anyway. Apache kid not take chance. You bad. You cruel to wife. You... Stop. You tie rope. You say Apache kid bad engine. White man say Apache kid bad engine. Law man say Apache kid bad engine. Who make me bad? You not... Not all time bad. White man law make Apache kid bad. Man kill my father. Many year go by. Me wait. And then they come Apache kid get revenge. That engine law. White man say that wrong. White man want hang Apache kid. Ha. I not get me. You hide from white man. You safe. Apache kid not afraid. Let white man come. Each time I beat white man. Someday all white man fear Apache kid. Wait. You hear? Horse. Ah, uh, horse come this way. Quiet. Campfire show where you are. Quiet. Rider come to camp. You see him? That Injun. Injun on a stand, Apache kid. Maybe not need kill Injun. Oh. The answer. Oh. Not me. Me want water. Plenty hard ride from town. Stay in saddle. Apache kid, look close. Sudesi, umtake balu. Me takale, mabu. You from town? Matt, right. Get off horse. We talk. Huh? Me, me get him off. You maybe bring news from town. You Apache kid. Yeah. Me got plenty news. What news? You shoot, feller. Leave him live. What? Who you? Quiet. Feller name Reynolds. Him live? Not right. Him put up money. Money? Him Plenty rich. Here. What is paper? You read. Ah, me read. Me put wood on fire. Make light. So, plenty money for a patchy kid. <laughs> plenty money. That right. A reward, 10,000. Maybe get them reward. You? Put them down, gun. You, engine. Me, engine. Maybe two engine get them reward. Uh, maybe we make plan. That's right. White man Reynolds with more money than he need. Maybe take some. <laughs> we make plan. <laughs> Counter played his part exactly as instructed by the Lone Ranger. While the Apache kid outlined his scheme to get the $10,000 reward money, Tonto's suggestions made the outlaw's plot fall into line with a masked man's plan. But the Apache kid did not realize that he was being tricked. Make sure Reynolds bring money for reward. Tonto, try. Mm, me wait in cabin. Now you go. Uh, here, fella. Not that horse. White fella. My horse? You take pack mule. Oh, what matter, horse? Horse stay here. Then you come back, sure. No, me want you horse. You get white horse back if you play fair. Apache kid keep white horse for time. You take mule. Ride bear back. Uh, Tonto bring white man to cabin. Good. I wait there for you. With plenty trick like fox. <laughs> Get him up. <laughs> maybe Patchy kid give back white horse, maybe not. You steal engine horse. Horse fast. Maybe hard to follow. Mule slow. 
Apache kid follow easy. What you do? Now put rope on you. Make sure you hear when I come back. No, please. No rope. More rope. Make sure wife not run from Apache kid. Someday you not come back. Then what happen? Me not care what happened to you if Apache kid not come back. You cruel. You run away. You tell lawman too much. Apache kid get captured. Me not take chance. Sammy. Oh, rope tight. Let Tight. Keep you in camp. Now, Apache kid, follow Tonto. Tonto suspected that the Apache kid might trail him to town. Therefore, when he reached the Reynolds house, his behavior was designed to mislead anyone who might be watching him. He dismounted from the outlaw's mule and rapped on the door, confident that the Lone Ranger would carry out the deception. Who is it? Me, friend. Me want talk. One minute. What do you want here at this time of night? Me fetch news. All right. Step inside. There, Tonto. The Apache kid has followed you. He heard just what he'd expect to hear if I were really Tom Reynolds. Him got white feller. What? Uh-huh. Him whole white feller. If Tonto double cross. But the main thing, Tonto, is he setting a trap? That right. Good. Was it hard to get him interested? No, that not hard. What is his plan? You go to old cabin. Where is the old cabin? Three mile north, near Creek. You can lead me there, can't you? Ah. Uh-huh. I'm supposed to think you captured the Apache kid. And when I see you have him tied up, give you the money. That right. Very well. But him got other scheme. What other scheme has he? Tonto not know. Then how do you know he has another scheme? Sly look on him face. Well, we'll have to take our chances. Apache kid, plenty... Smart. He isn't smart, Tonto. Not smart? No man who thinks he can beat the law is smart. No matter what scheme he has in mind, there's one thing in our favor. What that? We are on the side of justice. That makes a big difference, Kimosabi. A bigger difference than most people realize. I'll be ready to go with you as soon as I send you up. Huh. Will this disguise pass for Tom Reynolds in the dark? It's all right. Come on. We'll go to the stable. Huh. You don't want to go ahead with this, do you, Tonto? Oh, there's plenty danger. Well, he can't back out because of that. Maybe you get lawmen. No, that'd be a gunfight. Even if the Apache kid was shot by the lawmen, other men would fall as well. Uh, but that And not besides, matter. Tonto, we're carrying out the pledge Tom Reynolds made to his son. We want to get the Apache kid alive. He must be made to stand trial, to see and hear the white man's law. In a few moments, Silver was saddled, and the Lone Ranger, still disguised as Tom Reynolds, guided his horse down the trail that led through the woods. Tonto, mounted on the mule, rode beside him. Tonto remained silent throughout the trip. He feared that his friend was facing what was perhaps the greatest danger of his career. The Apache kid was both cruel and cunning, and his capture could be accomplished only by taking desperate chances. Cabin, plenty close now. Yes, and the Apache kid will surely be there, won't he? Maybe him in wood near here. Maybe him shoot from ambush. He won't do that, Kimosabe. All him wants is money. Yes, but he isn't sure yet I brought any money with me. He'll not shoot me unless he knows for certain that I have the cash. You not got cash? No, Tonto. Have you told me everything he wants you to do? Uh, me tell all. Very well then, Tonto. He's going to be inside the cabin and appear to have ropes around his arms. Mm, that's right. But really, he'll not be tied. No. Then carry out your part of the plan just as he told you. Uh, here. Here, cabin. Oh. He's lighted a candle. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, that fellow. Oh, my fellow. Oh. Now I'll talk as if I were Reynolds. Uh. Indian, if you really have that man roped and ready for delivery to the law, you'll get the reward just as I promised you. I'm good. We'll go inside and find out. So, we meet again. And you? There, Apache kid. Alive and well. You've kept your word all right, Indian. You get revenge. You'll not have a chance. Much happened for the Apache kid, Hang. The Apache kid. You know why I want you alive? Me not care. Years ago, you shot a man named Dave Reynolds. That time his father promised to get you or die trying. I don't want to shoot you. I want to see you stand trial for murder. You bring money for engine that caught me, huh? I didn't say I'd brought the money with me. Have you? That needn't concern you. 
The reward can wait. First of all, I want to make sure you haven't any weapons concealed. What good weapon? Arms tied tight. Appearances are sometimes deceiving. You see empty holsters. Yes. That engine has my guns. Where are they? There. Gun on shelf. Very well. Didn't he bring cash? Him not tell, Tonto. No, I didn't bring the cash. No reward is going to be paid for you, Apache kid. Because this Indian friend of mine doesn't take rewards. What? Friend of yours? Go ahead. Move toward the table near the door. You're welcome to stand against what it. What this mean? Maybe Craig. It's all right, Kimasabi. When I saw the dust disturbed on the table near the door, I knew he schemed. Well, you... you have the full use of your hands behind your back. Go ahead and reach beneath the tabletop. You double cross! You me, you me not tell him. Tonto didn't know what your scheme was. You can't find the gun you hid there, can you? I'll... Here it is. I show you. Good. Come on and rush me again. I get you. Oh. Here's another in the same place. Oh, you. Hold him up, Tonto. I want him to examine that shield. He's not caught yet. Me show reach you. on that ledge beneath the tabletop. Me get you. Or would you rather have me reach for you? I'll get the thing that's there in place of your concealed gun. There it is. Do you recognize that deputy badge? It's the one Tom Reynolds wore when you shot him. There's a hole your bullet drilled in it. Me not hung yet. You not got proof. Tom Reynolds has joined his son. You'll go on trial for both those murders. And others as well charged against you. That's wrong. Law not got proof. Tie him, Tonto. Replace those bonds with ropes that'll hold him. Huh? Tonto, tie him. You ask for proof. Uh, Tonto, get proof. Uh, Where, Kimosabe? Him wife. Hate him. Him leave her tied. Tied? Uh, her want escape. Is she in his camp now? Her there is white fella. Your horse. Uh, and his wife will testify against him? Right. She do anything to keep him from her. And make those ropes tight. We'll get his wife and your horse later. Meanwhile, I'll go and get Sheriff Burns. He'll be glad to know that Tom Reynolds' pledge to his son has been kept. The story you have just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.